Well, hello everybody. Here we are again. Here we are one more time. We got a little 359 here. Fellers wanting it, so uh, we fixing to do some work on it. I'm gonna tear it down, port it, and we're gonna try to film just a little bit of this and. I've been cleaning up a little bit. I'm going to try to film the muffler mod for y'all. Because I have so many people keep asking for that. So, uh, we're going to try to get a little bit of a, a filming on it. And see if we can uh, show how we do it. I've already punched a small hole in the muffler where it belongs. I just punched the first passes way through it so uh, I don't have to do that I don't have to put it all back together to try to do that so it just make it a little easier for me 40 looks like we got 40 thousandths on that side Some of y'all know we've had a few that were crooked. So I've started checking them on both sides. Yeah, 41. Yeah, 41. It's only, it's right, like right out of a thousand. Thousands off from one side to the other, so that's, that's not bad. Uh, I've uh, I've had some issues with this thing, and uh, we've I think I finally got it straightened out. It seems to run pretty good now, so uh, we're gonna tear it down, see if we can't get it ported, put back together, make a little screaming mini out of it. Just trying to set a few things off to the side here. I think this is a low hour saw. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, there ain't hardly any signs of wear on the piston at all. But uh we're gonna see if we can stick her down right here right quick. I probably, I'm not going to uh, film the porting on this one since y'all have seen so much other porting. I'm just going to tear it down and uh, we're going to try to film the muffler mod on this one instead of porting. The muffler mod doesn't take as long either, so uh, yeah. Good thing they're impact resistant, right? <laughs> now what in the world made it fall off the table? I have no idea. But you know how it goes. Sometimes it just does that. Things around here seem to jump off the table. Seem to just jump off the table. Throw the linkage loose here. It's actually pretty neat the way this throttle comes off. It just pops out of there. Maybe the fuel line won't spray me this time. Hey, it didn't. Yeah. All that 
that shit left off there. All but the wires. All but the wire. There's that one. Just comes right off of there. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I just simply can't lay this stuff out without leaving it. There we go. Yeah, it's a little stuck. gasket off of here. I try to peel them off whole. Not just so they can reuse it if need be, but it makes it easier to get the gasket off. You just try to get it all off at one time. You don't have so much trouble getting it off. Just a little bit stuck right there. All right. I do a little cleaning on this cylinder. It's not real bad dirty, but it's dirty enough. We want to see what the piston looks like. The ring. Oh, that, that piston looks like it's just, mm, it looks like it's in real good shape. This little saw is clean. Now, this is this is before I cleaned it, y'all. It ain't been cleaned. This is just the shape it was in. I had to make a, a new socket this morning. Andrew will be happy I made this one because he's been needing one to get his socket or his clutch off his, uh, 357 and uh, I didn't have one. I had this one. This is the one for the big huskies. Oh, I got this one. The one for the little huskies. We just cut them out of sockets, y'all. You can spend 30 some dollars or so on, on them sockets and, and buy the ones that the OEM manufacturers make. Or you can go to the pawn shop and buy a socket for 50 cent and cut some grooves in it with an air, air grinder. It's up to you. Uh. I've got so many different ones. I'm not going to go buy one every time I need one because, heck, I think I've got six or eight or maybe more than that. I've got a good many of them. Because we do a lot of that stuff, a lot of different saws, so you know how it is. Different saws require different tools, and it might take me a few minutes to make one. But it took, I think it took me, I think it took 10 minutes to make that this morning. I mean, it really wasn't, I set it up on the clutch, and uh took my marker and just marked where I needed the, the fingers to rest and uh, I just blacked them out and got my uh, 
whatever I'm trying to say. I just took my air grinder and just cut them. And it actually fit real well the first time. I didn't have to do it over and over like some of them. But I know y'all have seen some of the some of the silly designs. The way they're made. There's another one. This is another one here. I think I give a quarter for this socket. So, you know. I don't have just a few dollars in them things that might have a few minutes in making them, but I mean, honestly, if, if I had to run to the store and buy one from the manufacturer, I'd have to go find a manufacturer that has one in the area or either purchase it off the internet and pay the shipping and wait for it to come in and all that. So, I mean... I've actually got a bucket of sockets, which I'm sure most of y'all do too. If you, uh, if you're mechanics and you work on stuff, you just got random sockets laying around from mis mismatched sets and stuff like that. Don't be afraid to cut one out. And uh, on some of the other ones, I've I've got some that. Uh, I didn't have a socket big enough, so I found a piece of pipe that was big enough and then cut it from that and welded a, an old socket in the end of it to, to make it. That works pretty good too. So, uh, you know, it's whatever it takes. Get the job done. Ain't no big deal. Gasket does not want to come loose from the cylinder. This gasket does not want to let go from this side of the cylinder. Yeah, we'll get it. There we go. Yeah. There's that one. stuck in two places of course There we go. Now we got it. We'll take care of that. I'll clean it up a little bit. I'm going to pull the decomp out of it because I don't like to grind on them with a the decomp in them because you could get metal up in the decomp and make it where it doesn't work. And well, we all know we don't want that. We all know we don't want that. Because then... Yeah. 
Because if we do that, then uh, it's detrimental to what we want done. Because we want it to work. Y'all who know, y'all know who, uh, who done that. I, I was reading this morning, and according to the internet, I think today, today is either the day that Jim Varney passed away or the day he was born. Uh, I don't remember exactly which one it was. I think it's the day it, that he passed away. For those of y'all who don't know who Jim Varney is, he uh, was Ernest P. Worrell. And uh, I really liked watching his stuff. I still got a good many of them. <laughs> some, of, some of my favorite stuff to watch. He never had to be ugly or anything like that to, to make something funny. So, uh, you know, a lot of good things, a lot of good things. We're going to get this rust cleaned up, boo. We're going to get it cleaned up. I'm fixing to start porting on it here in a few minutes. Uh, this muffler is one of the worst for doing a mod because there's a baffle. There's a baffle inside of it about here. And to get the muffler mod the way I want it, that baffle's going to come out. So uh, I may go ahead and remove the baffle before I start filming because it is a tedious process. Uh, I have to, for, for, for lack of better, you got two choices. You either cut the muffler in half and get it out, or you try to go through this hole and get it out. And what I've found is I take my welding torch and I set it just a little bit hot. And I go in there and I just cut small pieces. I just let the metal melt through with the with the welding tip and, and, and little pieces. And I just keep cutting little chunks until I can get it out of there. And then when I get it out of there, I cool the muffler off, pull the parts out, drill a hole in it, and put the pipe in it. But uh, I'm probably not going to film cutting all the pieces out of it. Uh, I'm just going to try to film doing the muffler mod for y'all and welding the pipe in it and stuff like that so uh, y'all should be able to see that and we're going to open a little bit of that up there and there just because it's in the way uh it's not flush with the inside so we're going to make it where it is and uh you can see see how much room there is the holes are blocked off real small we're going to work on opening them up. Uh, as far as changing the timing a whole lot, we're not going to change it very much. Because there ain't a whole lot of need to. Uh, probably the one thing that we will do, we're going to mic the gasket and we'll raise the exhaust port the amount of the gasket. Which, uh, if you're just, if you're just mildly working on one, that's, that's good. Uh, I don't try to show y'all how to go crazy because there's no reason unless you're building a hot saw, which we don't. We're, we're making good work saws. That's what we're doing. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go work a little bit and get things ready. I'm going to bring y'all back. Y'all have a good day.